Okay, Salaam alaikum everyone. As you all know, that we do have our practical examination on the 10th of October 2020 and this is of physics. Yes, level. Okay. Also, it's not easy to predict the question that would be coming in our examination, but still, we do have some of the important thing with us as well. First of all, we just we just need to know about the type of the questions and the amount of the question. Okay, almost there would be a two questions: question one and question two in our examination. And I will have a paper with me. That is of October 16. Yes. Now we do have a numbering of the question as well. Like 20 mark each question carry equal mark is 20. Okay. So basically our practical is about the 40 marks and they further aggregate on the on to 30 marks. This is how our practical comes. Now the important thing that I'm gonna discuss about that we do have only five to six topics somehow that would be coming in our examination of practical the time duration is two hours for both of the question okay for one part question we could be having uh, any of the experiment like the about the current electricity about the you can say about general physics and about the uh, you can say two two more two two, two two three more things as well but the most important thing that we have we need to draw a or we need to plot a graph with us okay i'm just going to discuss some of the few tips regarding both of the question okay so first for the tip number one yes whenever the centimeter comes in our examination so it should be written into one decimal piece okay one uh, oh, which could be one db furthermore if we just move on so meter it will become into the 3 db as per the required or the 3 sf okay now yes for example there are also another amount of figure as well with us but the important thing i am just going to discuss about that for example in our question we are just going to calculate about the current okay we just need to know that formula for the current would be v equals to ir so v the voltage i the current or the resistance you all know the si unit as well okay as you all know that first of all it does come in the centimeter a centimeter already discussed in our say, question so we just need to confirm that whenever we are just writing the ampere in any of the amount so it should be 1 dp as well for example 34.0 exponential minus 3 ampere it should be at least 1 dp if it comes with a centimeter okay so both of them uh, uh, the same places should be equal with each other okay now we do have another question with us uh, okay Yes. For example, there should be there would be a question which is carry with the errors and the improvements. For the errors and the improvements, I'm just gonna share with the three to four major things that are compulsory in any of the examination or in any of the practical. First of all, it says that the And there uh, you can say two readings are not enough. Are not enough to conclude. You conclude the answer yes. Anything about that? So the the improvement could be made as the improvement could be made as the like. Plot a graph. Sorry, take several readings and plot a graph. Okay, take several readings and 
plot a graph. Okay, there should be a mandatory in this about the reason that could be in the question number two. Okay, for example, if the question comes regarding the if the question comes regarding the electricity or current somehow, okay, if there would be a micrometer screw gauge. Micrometer screw called one caliper, or it, if, if there would be a, any of the operator which is considered of the set square in it. Okay, or uh, you can say our measurement or scaling. So, the thing that should be, uh, we should very much care about that. And now we are just going to conclude the other three things. So, I just have a few more with me, and I'm going to play with you, right? Okay, first of all, if there would be a, regarding a current electricity, so we can we should bet about the method of fixing the current improvement. For example, whenever it asked about that the current wasn't clearly, you can say about the, the, the reading could be fluctuating in our question. So we should try it as that. Then you can just use the crocodile clips. Crocodile clips. To you can say uh, to grip on the wire. Okay. Furthermore, if the thing comes regarding the micrometer screw gauge, so for the micrometer screw gauge, we do have another thing as well. Like yes, uh, we do have a spindle and anvil with us, so it should be you can say what it should be tightly. Uh, it should be tightly properly. Okay, which means, for example, if you're just gonna tighten about the wire to calculate the diameter, so it should be very much careful that it should not be too much tight. That, uh, for example, that uh, there would be uh, no space for a little movement and it should not be a uh, too much loose as well. It should be a moderate on an average so that the reading could be taken properly. And for further removing any error, so we can take two to three readings more in order to pl in order to go for an average. And to have a more accurate value okay for example the set square could be used such for itself an improvement that could be discussed in many of the questions regarding the measurement question for example when we use the meter rule okay we don't know that whether whether the uh, the meter rule is accurate or not or it is, you can just you are making like the for example yes is a boss or clamp with us and you for hanging for example we are just using the meter rule and we don't know that whether it is just parallel to or vertical exactly so we just use a set square to check it by uh, plotting a set of over there okay this will help know that it would be a quite equal okay and furthermore okay yeah. these are some of the major tips or you can say a uh, general tips that could be in your examination as well and for further inshallah will be helping you with us okay? till now Allah is